All right, so the next video, video three, for, we'll do reviews at the beginning of them. First and most important thing, hope you've made, hopefully you've made one of these by now. Two, the second most important thing, or really the first most important thing, is the first rule of the steel pan drum is knowing when you go from your outer notes to your inner notes. And once again, in review, in my instrument, it's going to be from a C to a D or a C sharp to a D sharp. But once again, my steel pan is built as a high C. If you have a low C, which once again, your lowest note is not a D, but a C. I don't know. I'm not a theorist. I don't teach at Berkeley. I'm just doing free YouTube videos. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's from B flat to C for the reason that I go to C to D. But I'm not positive. And then once again, it would be uh, B to C. I don't know. Just, I'm just going to teach you my pants. So if, if you've got, a, if you've got a, a low C, then Google it. Um, right, so that's the first rule. Knowing from whatever pan you're playing on, knowing from when you're going from your outer notes to your inner notes. Once again, on my pan, C to D, C sharp to D sharp, okay? In this video, this is where it all starts. This is the beginning of everything. Is this whole instrument, because of the way it was designed, the way that it's laid out, and the way that it's built, is if you know how to play one scale in one key, you can play every scale in every key now. Okay? Example. Say I want to do an, uh, uh, we'll do an F scale again. We'll just stick with F for right now. If you want to do an F scale, it's, it's a pattern that I'm just going to call the 3-4, which basically means that the three notes that I'm about to play are wedged in between the four notes surrounding it and then the octave, okay? So three, four. So this in action looks like this. If I'm gonna play an F scale, I'm gonna do F, G, A, one, two, three, one, skip one, two, skip one, three. Then where I started, which was at the F, to the left of where I started begins my four. So B flat, skip, C, skip, D, why? Because I always go from this C to this D and not this C to that D. C to D, D, skip one to E, E to F. Okay? Three, four. Ready? One, skip. Two, skip. Three. Where I am to the left of begins the four. One, skip. Two, skip. Three, skip. Four, octave. Okay? F, F. <laughs> So, if we're going to listen to that, here we go. One, two, three. One, skip, skip. To the left of B flat. Uh, B flat, skip, C, skip, G, skip, E, skip, F. Now, it doesn't matter where I play now on this instrument. That same pattern applies. So, if I want to play a D scale, okay? The same thing. D, skip, E, skip, F sharp. To the left of is G, G, skip, A, skip, B, skip, C sharp, skip, and well then octave D. So D, D. Now, because my pan is in a low D, these are going to predominantly be played in the outer notes because I'm not transitioning from a C to a D. So like this is what I'm saying. So uh, one, two, three, D, E, F sharp. To the left of G, A, B, C sharp, and then octave. Now, to show another dramatic difference would be as if I was going to play the scale of C, which is the highest low note, which means that for the most part I'm going to be playing mostly high notes because I immediately enter the pan. So, C, D, E, to the left of F, G, A, B, uh, where are I, C? C. Octave, octave. So, that's the first rule of thumb. So, now you can take a week and just really start from the ground up. And now you're just going to do every scale the same pattern. You know, if I was going to play G, G, skip, A, skip, B. To the left of G is C, C, skip, D, skip, E, skip, F sharp, G, 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 G. 
Um, the first way to learn your scales is just play them properly on the way up. So what I mean by that is start at your octave and end at your octave. So F to F. Okay? But the more that you get comfortable in all these, then and what good pan players will begin to do is you want to basically, no matter what key you're in, you want to be able to go down to its lowest relative note. I don't want to really throw this in because I don't want this to confuse anybody, but well, we'll, we'll deal with that later. So when you're practicing now, if you're doing F, you know, start at F, do a full scale, and then if you want to, we'll make this easy, you can continue onwards. So F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and then that's what one of these notes is in here. So if that's going to sound like, and I wanted to take F all the way up and all the way back, it would sound like this. It wouldn't sound like that. So, now take some time and practice all of your major scales, whether it's in E, whether it's in D, whether it's in G sharp, B flat, C, F sharp. Just remember the first and most important rule is that while playing it, you have to go from the C to this D, not that D, because it's, it's backtracking, and then this C sharp to this D sharp, okay? Perfect.